Welcome back. Hello and uh, good evening. So this video um, is the third video I've done, I'm doing today. And uh, it's an extract from my ebook. And this one is titled More Theme, Mur X. Parts one to four, I will go through these. And uh, the theme of these phonemes as a morpheme seems to point to ascension and metamorphosis. And so I co coined the term morpheme. And we'll see, I'll explain a little bit more of that later on. So by the way, in the background, as it's evening, you can hear some lizards, geckos, and maybe some crickets and passing cars, maybe a bit of music in the background, bass music. So bear with me if the sound is not as professional as I hear some with their big microphones and so on. And there's no editing in this as well, so bear with me do my best to be succinct. So, let's begin. Mer. Mer itself is a structural unit which forms through repetition. There's a lot of repetition here. We're going to see. Meronym or meronym is part a part that represents a whole. The Greek Meros and morph are interesting as well. It can be a part or a thigh, shape or form. A recurrent distinctive sound or sequence of sounds in linguistics is a morph. In biology, it's a variety of a species. You're going to see that more in part three, but let's look at the masculine traits of mer and also mar and more and so on. So we've got the word mark, which was a currency. I'm not sure if there still is a mark, um, but it was a stamped coin, which is, comes from the word mark, to make a mark. Uh, and then we have Icelandic mork, which is a pound of silver of of gold. I think it should be or gold. Uh, um, merit equals reward, token, sum of all good deeds. Numeric means identical and refers to digits. Numerate is to count. Myriad is countless. Mertz is a commodity. Commerce, commercial. We have these words merchant, mercantile, or trade, and merchandise. Latin merces, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, or mercis is price, e or wages. Mercer in Latin mex, I guess, is merchant dealing in textiles, silk and fine cloth. Then we have the words market, mart, and mercat. In Scotland, we've got camera, camera. Here in Thailand, it's glong. Different, but here we've got monomer, small molecule, molecule, and we've got some Gothic words, merken, maria. I'm pronouncing that correctly. We've got 
Mir, end of the land. We've even actually got the word merely, right? Simply. We've got mere stones as an object to mark a boundary. I'm wondering if that's mirror stone. Anyhow, uh, we've got markers, right? To delineate borders. The Marquis is a lord of the march. March. We're going to see that more further down, too. Marduk. Meredith. Merlon. Mur in French. Sumeria. Sumeru. Ismir. Merida. Mardin. Mars. And again, March. Related. America. As George W. Bush says, America. And we've got Avanamiri, Martin, and Grammar. Moving on, we've got Emerald, Marakat in Sanskrit, Emery, sanding and polishing, Emery powder, Smurris, Hammer, stone tool for crushing. And we've got Homer. Who was Homer? Hmm. We don't really know. It's like Shakespeare, right? And Marlin? What if we consider that Homer might have studied Hebrew? Interestingly, Homer in Hebrew means clay. A large unit... Um, a vo you know, volume. Could it be a large body of literature kept inside clay? Lots of questions. Let's go to part two. Feminine traits. We've got Mary, Maria, Lady of the Mount, perhaps. Um, it's again uncertain origin. We've got Aramaic, Hebrew, Miriam, Merk, if I'm pronouncing that well, um, in Welsh, <laughs> which means daughter, daughter, Marigold, Marjoram, Rosemary, Amaranth, an unfading flower. Mer, male, a mea, sorry, a sea. <laughs> We've got uh, Marin, mariner. Mer in Norwegian is a pool of water. Yeah, or Mere, meridian. Mersey. I think that's Liverpool, isn't it? Um, we got Mori. Marsh, Moor, Maras, Moorland, Morakab, means ink, black ink, obviously. Um, and we're going to look more at black later with myrrh. Getting very dark. But anyhow, for now we're still in the feminine, the energy of myrrh, mother, Mare, Merlot, right, and we've got Meru, Malus in Latin, and we've got Myrtle, Mer, German Mare, Moor, also Mer, Mir, sorry, Mir in German, we all. Mea and Mir. And Dulcimer. K 
Kashmir. Then we've got Mridu, which means soft. And MR, by the way, is the root of all of those. Gossamer, Mercury. Well, I put that in the feminine because it's liquid. Let's go on. Part three of four. We've got some esoteric traits here, alchemical language. Meridian. Mari. Fertuitous. Mercy. More. Which is black. Krishna. Transcendental. Transparency. White is not transparent. Yet black is chimera, the, the two-headed monster, gargoyle. And then we've got Merlin, small falcon, and we've got the wizard. We've got the people and creatures of the depths of water. Below our oceans, what is there? It's mesmerizing. You've even got charm. Look at that. Charm. Are you mesmerized yet? We've got Mary in Cameroon. It's a language. Kashmir, Khmer. Very ancient. Uh, wisdom. Mir again. Mary. We've got merge. Amber. Ember, sorry. Ashes. Melt. Is there a relation? Most probably. Immerse ourselves and merge. Melt and merge and emerge. Emergency. Moraine or Mori is pestilence. Hmm. Meru, Mount Meru. Sacred five peak mountain considered the center of all physical, metaphysical, and spiritual universes. It's not China. Uh, we've got Meru Tower, Balinese Temple, and a triangle decoration is a symbol of divine being. And we've got the Sanskrit Marichi, a ray beam particle of light, glimmer, glimmer, marmorane. Faint light. Merkaba. Merkaba. Chariot. Markab in Arabic. Ship. Chariot. Then we've got the immortal. Amara. Mara. World of death. Transformation. Metamorphosis. Form, look at that. Form, morph, form, morph. English is a code, I'm telling you. Tadpoles, we hear in the background there, those frogs as well. And then we get to the final part. You're still with me? Mur, as I said, mr. Mer and Mara are roots uh, of Indo European verbal root, uh, meaning to die or disappear into the depths of the dark, black, Brahman. Nothingness before birth.
we've got also the word murder. And then we've got some beings uh, and concepts. And we've got Mara, who's a being, but also a concept. Um, refers to one of three metamorphical, con metamorphical concepts. Klesa Mara is the embodiment of the unskilled emotions, such as greed, hate, and delusion. Then we've got Mrityu Mara as death in personification. Personified, sorry. Skanda Mara as a metamor, metaphor, sorry, for the entirety of conditioned existence. The fourth is said to be a Deva, comparable to Yama, Yamaduta. No, this is not video game characters. Deva Putramara is a Deva of the sensuous realm who tempted Gautama, Buddha, on the night of his enlightenment. Similar to uh, the temptation of Christ, maybe. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this collection, um, which is a complimentary extract from my ebook. I'm hoping to promote, and I'll put the links below so you can finally have a look for yourselves. It's a lifetime subscription, so um, I'm expanding this book as we go along. And the point of digital books is that you can just improve, expand without having to buy, purchase the new edition. You just purchase it one time and then you have it. As long as I live to expand the expansion of the universe as we go through. See you next time in my next video. Bye.